Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about shutdown in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And with the shutdown, I am going to discuss about start, stop, pause, resume, restart SQL services at here. So, first point is to stop the database engine and store procedure to finish, and then stop the database engine, we should use and here shutdown. And here, the next option is to stop the database engine immediately. So, for this, we need to use shutdown with or no wait. So, and here, let's go. Uh, uh, first, I'm going to uh, create to, uh, or you can just write and here or uh, select uh, a star from. So, going to use EMP table. And here, if you execute to this table, so this table comes inside. Add here, add in database. Now execute, so it's uh, showing the output. Now here after, I'm just going to execute shutdown. So add here, uh, server shutdown by request from the login SA. So by using login SA, so it's a shutdown. SQL server is terminating this process. So here, by using shutdown command, so SQL server is terminating this process. Now here after, if you try to execute to this query again, so add here getting the error message or transport level error has occurred when sending the request to server. So this kind of things and here no process is on the other end of the pipe. So uh, that means uh, by using SA, add here I am using SA account. So at this point uh, that uh, all the connection closed. Now if uh, I am trying to connect, to disconnect and here connect it again. So let's give the password. So, at here it's uh, running. So, it's uh, taking time here because it's completely shut down. And here I'm getting a uh, uh, message error uh, could not open connection S square. So, it's a network related error. So, at here for this, uh, at here we need to go search and here write in search. Services. services you can find now here after uh, services is going to open now here press s here after you go down so sql server process so if you uh, see at your uh, when that not run then that uh, if the services of sql server ms so it's not run then you get the message like network related kind of error message you find so let's click on start so add here it's a start now here after uh, start from here you can stop pause and restart so here start pause and restart now here after uh, for this i'm going to copy this one and you have to uh, disconnecting okay now here after let's open one more time so one more time going to open sql server 2012 so sql server 2012 you can find out uh, Okay, there is a SQL server now here inside. Oh, oh. here SQL server 2012. Now here go down and here you can find management studio. So after that too, you can work. If that open then or oh, right here it's work. It will definitely work. So waiting for SQL server 2012 or oh, to open. Now give the password one two three four. And here, let's click on new query and pasting this one. Now, here, after if you execute anything like uh, select a start form, so first we need to go for item database here after execute. So it's uh, showing some kind of output. Suppose if I uh, use add here or uh, stop, so add here, this is a stop now. So again, you are going to execute the so network related things. So for this, we need to uh, start that again. So our transport level error also showing that message now here after execute that so again oh what happened okay let's so okay let's uh, disconnect and connect it again now give the password add here so password has given and here after so if you ask trying to execute so see at here now it's uh, working. 
so this is the things now after the next thing is so this is about to shut down so either you can write at here shut down or keyword or you can use add here at this point to just stop and here after the next thing is or to stop the database engine immediately so for this we need to use shut down with no wait so if you execute so and here sql server down or no wait request from the login essay and here sql server is terminating this process now if you try to execute to uh, of uh, query so add here again network created so so add here so if you uh, uh, take this point and here after a start so again it's uh, starting from here now here after if you you execute to this query so again or uh, add here getting the expected output so here uh, if you want then here you, uh, the thing is shut down and shut down no wait so it uh, immediately that shut down with no wait and here this will close some or uh, uh, something like uh, some or uh, something process if executing then that first the act first that to totally close and you have to or uh, they shut down so by using shut down first that close the all current process after that that shut down so by using shut down with no wait so it uh, immediately shut down yeah so this is the two differences between shut down and shut down with no wait and here you can find uh, in services like this kind of things so suppose if you find any network related issue so here you should do uh, or uh, you should check at their sql server or uh, that is running or not if not running then or uh, the definitely you get the error message now let's pause that so i'm going to pause that things and here or uh, if i'm trying to execute so it it's working here it's working fine no any problems so add here let's uh, here this point so it's a pause or you can resume add here so suppose that stop then that won't work so it will resume successfully and here after if you not restart so you can apply sometimes what happen uh, some process are not running so like this a smart card so you have to click on a start or here some process is running or you can use add here stops so this is the things I want to start, stop, pause, resume, restart SQL Server services, and this is what to shut down here. So shut down that to first or uh, uh, close all the process, then or that or uh, stop the database engine, and uh, with the shut down with no wait. So first that to stop the database engine, uh, you should use shut down with no wait. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.